Hello, Assalamu alaikum everybody. So, my name is Aves and today we will be doing uh, an electricity experiment. Basically, I will help you understand how we can connect different components and their uh, things together and how each one functions. So, in this experiment, as you can see uh, on the screen, there are um, there's a parallel combination with a series combination. In the parallel, we need to connect a voltmeter, we need to connect a switch, we need to connect uh, X, and there are two X uh, resistors, and then 1.5 uh, battery volts battery. So, generally, when you see a battery, it has a positive uh, terminal already marked and uh, you don't need to do anything there are connections here so as you can see from the battery because see the recommend all right as you can see from the battery uh, we will connect first this is a crocodile clip so you connect the cro crocodile clip on the terminal just leave it as it is you don't need to do anything else mm -hmm. then as you can see on the other side we have a switch now switch works like this that we have a uh, this is off this is on or you could say this is closed and this is open now it has basically two terminals right here. You can actually remove these. And the reason we want to remove this because these are made from brass and they're not very good conductors. However, the other one is probably made from uh, uh, iron or steel, so which is better. So you connect one crocodile clip here, uh, make sure to disconnect it first. And now you have reached this point. Now, as you can see, what I'll do is I'll draw, I, I want to connect the middle R first to complete the circuit. So you can, uh, you connect the other crocodile clip here and then use uh, the component holder, which states R. And now component holder also has like two terminals. It doesn't matter which terminal you connect to. So you just connect here. And then as you can see, the R then gets connected to X and which means you can put it right here. Make sure it is tight and it's not loose. And then you can pick a resistor. Now resistors basically look like this if they're not placed in the component holder. It's X, it has two wires coming out. Make sure that when you're connecting it, uh, connecting the crocodile clip, you can expose it a bit. It has uh, different, you know, um, teeth here. You put it in it and then try to see if it's uh, taut and very tight. If it's not, you can just Fold it a bit, as you can see, I have folded it so that there's a proper connection and doesn't give you a uh, fluctuation in the current. Now you have done this. The other end of this gets connected to the battery's other terminals. So again, you will connect the crocodile clip. Make sure it is the metal part that is touching. A lot of people do what they connect it here, which is the paper. So don't do that. That would not give you any reading. Then what you do is you connect it to the other terminal of the battery. Now the main circuit is complete and now we are going to move towards the parallel section. So as you can see against R we have an X. So you will take another uh, wire. The wires are going to be enough. The metal should be connected here. Now there are two ways. Either you connect it on the uh, on this on it which is better way or you can also connect it over the other clip if you if you if i see uh, if i make it uh, closer to you you can see that it's like connected to the metal part a lot of people make mistake they connect it here which is basically absolutely wrong because you're connecting a metal to an insulator so make sure you make the right connections once you've done that then on the parallel section of this you got to connect x as you can see so you can connect the other x which is right here and make sure to uh, give it one turn so that it's uh, fixed here and then use another wire and then connect it like this. Now, when you connect it, it's going to be uh, like this, as you can see, it's fully taut and then you can connect it to the other end to make it parallel. Now you see from the diagram, we have, uh, we have uh, X, we have R here. This is parallel to X. And now we need to connect the voltmeter. Generally, a voltmeter looks like this. In voltmeter, they will set it to the correct reading. So it means if they're showing you 0, 0.00, which means the minimum reading that you can take it or the least count would be 0, 0.01. Now we need to connect it in parallel. So we'll put the voltmeter here. One side of the voltmeter should be connected. Now this voltmeter carries uh, pins. Uh, obviously they will be loose. So you might need another wire. Just uh, connect this wire like this. Right here. And then connect it in parallel to R. 
So one side, you can connect it on any, like I have done it on the metal part of any clip. That is fine. Make sure it's not loose. And then on the other side, you can connect it, connect another wire. And from this wire, you can go and connect on any metal part that is exposed like that. So if I show you how I've done it, a close up so it is connected in parallel. Make sure that no, um, it's not touching the, uh, uh, the uh, plastic part. Now our main um, thing is connected. As you can see that voltmeter and R and this X is basically parallel, whereas this X is in series. Now our circuit is complete. Finally, we will put this key on the uh, switch, press it tightly. And hopefully when you connect the resistor, which they have asked us to put an 18 one, so they will be marked and labeled and you can put it inside the resistors, uh, this component holder, you can press this. Let me show you with the close up. So you can press this and insert the wire inside. And then on the other side, you can also do the same. So this is how you will be able to connect that. So I hope you guys understand the setup of it and uh, um, make sure that you follow the same routine by creating the main circuit first and then the parallel circuit. Have a nice day. Inshallah, see you soon.